Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. So today we are going to solve for indices equation. For solving indices equation, it is divided into two parts. Solving two terms indices equation or three term indices equation. Alright. Most importantly, the equation can have equal base or indices so that we can just equate the indices or base of both sides. For positive real number, where a is not equals to 1, if a to the power of x equals to a to the power of y, where we have the same base here, so we can just compare the power, so we can write it as x equals to y, right? Okay, so uh, this is for two terms, right? So today we will cover uh, to solve uh, two terms in this equation only. Alright, okay. If the equation can have equal base, we will take log for both sides. So, this one class, okay, we will cover it later, right? Uh, when, uh, in the subtopic log, right? Since it is involving log here, right? So, now, we just need to compare the power by uh, making the base same for left-hand side and your right-hand side, right? Okay, so look at the first example, right? Look at 6a, alright. We have 5 to the power of x equals to 1 to 5. We are solving for x class, alright. So first, remember, one term should be on your left-hand side and one term should be on your right-hand side, alright. Okay, what we will do is to make your right-hand side uh, in the same base uh, with the left-hand side. So now we have 5 here, class. Right, so we have 5. So therefore, I am making 1 to 5 in the base of 5. So I can write 1 to 5 as 5 to the power of 3. Since we have the same base here, we have 5 and 5. Therefore, we can easily compare the power. So therefore, we have x equals to 3. Alright, okay. The next one, I will show you b. Right, so we have 16 over 81 to the power of x equals to a over 27. So class, we have to think, alright, to make your left-hand side, uh, the, the base of the right-hand side equals to the left-hand side. So we have 16 here, class. So to write it in next form, we can write 16 as 2 to the power of 4. And 81 can be written as 3 to the power of 4, to the power of x here. Alright, okay, on your right hand side, so we have 8, so 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3 and 27 can be written as 3 cube. Alright class, so the next step, alright, for your left hand side here, we have 4 for the, the, the power of the numerator and the power on the denominator. So what we will do, we, we take out the power, alright, so this is by using the properties. 2 over 3 to the power of 4x. Same thing goes here. I am taking out the power. Right. Okay, look at here class. So, so we already have the same base. So therefore, we can just compare the power. So we have 4x equals to 3. Therefore, our x is equals to 3 over 4. Alright, okay, I will show you F now, alright, okay, look at here for F, alright, we have 49x squared equals to 1 over 7 to the power of 3x minus 2, okay, so the idea is to make, uh, to equate the base, alright, okay, if we have 49 here and we know that 49 is equals to 7 squared, alright, so we have x squared here, alright, class, alright, here we have uh, a fraction, uh, index. So what we will do, right? We will put seven uh, upward. We will bring uh, seven upward. So it will be seven to the power of two minus three x class. Right. So here I am taking out the power. So I will have, right? Seven two x squared equals to seven to the power of two minus three x. Alright, so now I already have the same base on your left hand side and on your right hand side. So now we can just compare the power. So we have 2x squared 
equals to 2 minus 3x class. Alright. So, now I will need to make sure my left uh, right hand side equals to 0 and the highest power of x to be positive. So, we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 equals to 0. So, therefore, I can factorize here since we have a quadratic equation. Alright equals to 0 so therefore my x equals is equals to negative 2 and also half right okay okay so now I think you can try to do letter question number uh, question B C E G Alright, H and I. Alright, so we will discuss more in the tutorial class. Alright, okay, thank you class.